Harari, Robert Mugabe, who has ruled Zimbabwe since independence in 1980, resigned as President Tuesday shortly after lawmakers began impeachment proceedings against him, according to the Speaker of Parliament. The Speaker read out a letter in which Mugabe said he was stepping down with immediate effect for the welfare of the people of Zimbabwe and the need for a peaceful transfer of power. Lawmakers erupted into cheers, and jubilant residents poured into the streets of Harare, the capital. It seemed to be an abrupt capitulation for Mugabe, 93, the world's oldest head of state and one of Africa's longest-serving leaders. It's the best thing that's ever happened to Zimbabwe, Perseverance Send, 20, set in central Harare just minutes after news of Mugabe's resignation began spreading and crowds of people started singing around her. I have been waiting so long for this moment. Mugabe, who once proclaimed that only God will remove me, had refused to step down even after being expelled Sunday from ZANU-PF, the political party he had led for decades. Then on Tuesday, members of ZANU-PF introduced a motion of impeachment, invoking a constitutional process that had never before been tested. The party's historical political rival, the Movement for Democratic Change, seconded the motion, a striking sign of the consensus in the political class that Mugabe must go, one that formed with astonishing speed after the military took Mugabe into custody last Wednesday, signalling an end to his 37-year rule. Debate on the impeachment motion had begun when the Speaker suddenly interrupted the proceedings to read what he said was a letter of resignation delivered by Mugabe's representatives. In Africa Unity Square, the capital's main public area, scattered shouts were heard just a few minutes after the announcement by the speaker. Then, as word began spreading by mouth and by phone, the shouts, cries and honking of cars rose in a deafening crescendo. Hundreds of people ran to the square, hugging and jumping, as the crowd soon swelled into the thousands. I am happy, said Priscazadora, 32, a street vendor who was hugging a friend, jumping up and down. Bob has resigned. We were starving because of him. Brian Moyo, 30, who works in internet security, ran into the middle of the square in his dark suit and red tie. 37 years is not a joke, he said. He is the only president I have ever known. It's indescribable it's been hell. I feel like we have been liberated a second time. Nicholas Yamaka, a 65-year-old taxi driver, said, I used to think it would never come. It's a dream come true. So finally the suffering is over. For nearly four decades, Mugabe managed to stay at the helm by handing out the spoils of power to his allies, and by crushing dissent. He oversaw the massacre of thousands of civilians in the 1980s and outmaneuvered rivals in his party and in the opposition. Even in his 90s and weakened by age, he kept potential successes at bay. But he pushed too hard by trying to position his wife. Grace Mugabe, 52, as his successor. She entered politics only two years ago, had no role in the nation's liberation war and treated with open contempt politicians who had been waiting decades to succeed her husband.